Hello, welcome or welcome back. My name is Monique and I am on a financial health journey to create an inheritance for generations to come. And I want to do that through consistency and discipline. Um, Today we're here to ca cash stuff, the sinking funds that I have, um, but we are using fake money to do that. So um, all of my money, it was transferred to and deposited into Alley based on the buckets that I have designed but I need some type of visual reminder of what all of the, that money is for, and it makes it more real for me. So although that all of that is done online, I am gonna use fake money to actually notate those amounts here in the binder that I have for sinking funds so that I keep a consistent record of exactly what I'm saving money for. Um, so to, this should have $400. All right, so first let's do let's do that first. And I do need to open that up so that I can see. Okay. So 50, 100, 150, 200. Let's move that over. 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 320. Um, third, 330, 40, 50, 60, 70. So we got 370. 375, 80, 385. Okay. 87, 89, 91, 93. So we're at 393. And then 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 400. There we go. That's $400 that we're going to stuff today. All right. Um, I already actually wrote into the trackers the amount and where my totals should be because sometimes I need to do a check and make sure that as I was removing money, if I'm spending any money out of the sinking funds or adding in some additional money, um, like I don't like interest or those types of things that I am uh, making sure that I do it every time. And sometimes I get off track. So I did want to go ahead and add everything in. The numbers that you see on the trackers is accurate. That's the amounts that I know for sure that I have in Alley. And now we just want to make sure that this, the fake money, um, you know, matches up with that correctly. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, so for Corinne, my daughter, she's getting $75. Um, I should have 210 in here, and then after her 75, she should have 280. So 150, 2, 210. Let's do 50, 70 for 75. All right, and then there you go. So she should have $285. 150, 250, 270, 280, 285. Boy. I gotta work on my counting skills. All right, birthdays is next. I should have 165, 120, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70. Here we go, this might be one of those times. So 120, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65. Okay, I just counted wrong, there you go. Do it one more time, 120, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65. All right, so 165, we want to save 20. Get 20 and put in there. Um, and then that should be 185. 120, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85. All right, we are there. Next, household. Household, I'm putting 25 in. I have 25, 25, and I'm adding another 25. Okay. It's 20, 40, 45, 50. There you go. We're good on that one. Next is emergency. So what you'll notice in emergency, this is one of those cases I was talking about. So um, you may have seen my video a couple of days ago, but I needed to get a catalytic converter for my Kia. It was $1,404. With that said, I had some money saved up in car maintenance. I had some money saved up for new whip. I emptied both of those out and then I needed to make up the remainder out of emergency. So that was $954 which meant I had a total of 360. 
And then I think I went in and added, Allie gave, um, had some interest that I got at my months in, and that was $9. And so that was 300 and that should be 369 I had. And then I'm saving 50 now, which should be a total of 419. So I think in this case, I did add the 369. I'm gonna check that now. 100, 150, 250, 340, 350, 360, 365, 67, 69. So I did. I added in the $9 interest. Now we need to add in a 50. Good old 50. And so now it should be at 419. 100, 200, 350, 70, 90, 410, 15, 17, 19, 419 dollars. All right, new whip. So I'm starting new whip again. As I mentioned before, we wiped out the 140 that I had saved in there. So I'm starting over again and I'm going to deposit 15 now. So I'll take that and bring it over here for right now. With that said, I had these cards and these came from Carrie J Budgets um, from Etsy, if I'm not mistaken. So um, these cards, uh, let's see. There you go. So these cards are, um, I wanted to use, I did not use them last year, but I do want to still use them um, for my savings challenges. So um, that's why I have them in here as a way to just um, do something a little different for saving for a new whip, a new car. Um, what I'm going to do, because I'd already started coloring these in, as you can see, um, to get up to the 140 that I already had saved now that I've used all the money I think what I'm going to do is save up enough money till I get to 140 again Which means the ones that are colored in would be the would be correct and then I'll pick this back up So I'm going to leave them in my um, Envelope and then I'm going to add in the $15 For this time and, and once we get up to 140 we'll start to color that one in again Okay Car maintenance is um, the same way I wiped it out. I don't have savings challenges for it, but wiped out the 310, so we're starting fresh with $20. Okay, medical. Um, I should have 220. I'm gonna save 50, and that'll be a total of 270. So 220, 150, 70, 90, 210, 215, 220. And I need to add another 50. Alrighty. 150, 220, 40, 60, 65, 70, $270. Got it. And we have eye appointments and a dentist appointment in October. So I'm going to try and give as much as I can to that one right now so we can get it beefed up. Um, so C is $11. So he should have 342. 100, 250, 70, 90. 310, 20, 30, 35, 40, 42, 342, and I need to add 11. So that's this is my dog, my poochie, and um, he's got a yearly visit that usually runs about $300, so I should be covered on that. And then we'll hold on to the rest. I am trying to build up enough to have the deductible together for his pet insurance, just in case anything happens. Of course, we'll be prayerful that nothing does, but just in case. So I'm going to keep contributing to it. 353, 100, 250, 270, 290, 310, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 52, 53, $353. All right. Next is property insurance. This gets $75. I save $75 every paycheck. Um, and I'm going to pay my property insurance um, every three to four months. So I pay like a, a lump sum. And with that said, um, I should have 475 in here now. One, two, three, four, 50, 70, 75. And then I'm going to add another 75. 50, 60, 70. And we're gonna have to use some twos and some mins. To be 550. 100, 200, 3, 4, 450, 5, 520, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 
All right, that's 550. Yay. The numbers are numbering. Makes me happy. Glamopoly. Um, started with $15. I rolled and um, on the Glamopoly and I rolled 14. So I have to say 14 today. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, so that's a total of... What did I do? 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So $29 is correct. Now I need to roll again. So this is a Glamopoly board um, for saving. Got this from Sean Versation, which I've shown in the, uh, in the past from her Etsy shop. Um, and then let me get my dice. Okay. Yes, this is my version of dice. Um, so two dice, tap to roll, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's go nine. Mm. It's coming this way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Free pumpkin. Yay for that. All right, so nothing I have to worry about putting in that this time. So I don't have to document anything here. Date night. Date night is getting 30. 35, 35 goes there, 35, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so I had 20, that's what this looks like, I took those little white things off the ends of these to try and make it easier, um, I'm still trying to figure out if that was a good idea, okay, here we go, 20, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, $55. That's correct. And I got one little lonely 10 left. And that would be, yep, taxes. So um, I do my own taxes, but I have to pay to do them through TurboTax. And that's usually 200 and some odd dollars. So that's what I saved up for. So it started at 129 I should have 139 Let's stick that in there. 20 40 60 70, 80, 90, 110, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 139. There you go. And we are good. Let's get this added back in. Everything is accounted for. We are good to go. Thanks, everybody, for your time. You guys have a good one.